Ladies and gentlemen, oil extraction enthusiasts, welcome to Drill Deal. This is Borehole Alpha, which is kind of like a playable demo, but it's actually like the first mission in the game. And if you've never heard of this game before, it's like a simulation strategy management game where you manage an oil rig and, you know, build buildings and uh, extract oil from the ground. It's great, actually. It's looking really, really good, and it's uh, it's going to enter early access at some point in the future. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to play through the Jack Torpedo mission, expand your oil rig in pirate waters. Uh, I've played through the tutorial, and so I know how to play, which is, uh, which is quite nice. And as ever, I will try and tutorialize uh, different elements of the game in order to... Uh in order to explain to you exactly what the heck is going on. Right, manage our company's new investment. It's a, it's a platform in the tropical climate. These waters are calm except for Captain Jack Torpedo, who has recently begun export, extorting ransom on nearby ships. Okay, main objective, achieve platform level 6. Secondary objective, defeat Captain Jack Torpedo, produce and sell 200 asphalt. Cool, build more buildings to raise your platform level. Build heavy oil refining uh, plant to produce asphalt. Excellent. Okay, so let's immediately, straight off the bat, talk a little bit about what this game has to offer so this is our platform at this moment in time it can be expanded in any what way i desire uh, the core of the platform both literally and metaphorically uh, is the drill shaft the drill shaft is the most important piece of infrastructure on this platform it is the it is the drill which actually outputs all of the stuff that we need to make an oil refinery work, I guess. Uh, so these are the barrels of crude oil. This uh, is the gas, and this is the water. Now, all of our resources are littered down the left-hand side of the screen. It's a little bit difficult to see, and I would say that everything is in a very sort of alpha state at this moment in time. Certainly all of the buttons, uh, all of the icons, the, the sort of user interface is very, very, very rudimental. Uh, rudimentary rudimentary at this moment in time but don't let that uh, cloud your judgment on what sort of game this is going to be because it does look it does look like it's shaping up to be pretty darn decent uh, anyway at uh, platform level is up in the top right hand corner here we basically build more structures level up our platform get it to a more advanced state that will allow us to negotiate better contracts with the people who want to buy our oil Okay, so far, so good. What is it that we really want to do in the first instance? Well, there's a couple of things that we should consider. First of all, we are slightly limited in terms of uh, in terms of cash, building blocks as well. Uh, what I think we're going to do is we're going to go into the build, build employee industries, right? Or build employee buildings, should I say. Build social buildings. That's the, that's the one. Uh, so this is what we need to do in order to house our members of staff. And in fact, there's a little icon up at the top of the screen that is that is telling us that we, it's, it's good to have a canteen, a bedroom, a workshop, and a cinema. To be honest, I think all of those buildings can be built relatively easily. Uh, yeah, you know what? We're going to just, uh, we're just going to just get that down. Um, the game is in pause at this moment in time. And to be fair... To be fair, I don't think... How the, heck, how the heck do I rotate this building? I've literally never rotated a building before in my entire life. There we go. It's a right click. Okay. Uh, small kitchen as well. Yeah, although do we really need a small kitchen? We don't actually technically need a small kitchen at this moment in time. But, you know, we'll, we'll get one just to be on the safe side as well. Uh, a workshop as well. A maintenance building where employees repair nearby buildings. That's cool. All right, so let's get all of that built. I'll unpause and we will let absolutely everything finish. What's still needed? A cinema. It's good to have a cinema. Well, actually, that's unlocked. We can talk a little bit about the tech tree uh, in a little bit. But either way, that has sort of uh, sort of torpedoed my uh, my finances a little bit. Okay, here's what I think it's important to do. I think it's important to see if we can try and recruit some workers right so what we're looking for is we're looking for different workers with different skills these are all of the skills and they determine exactly what a worker is going to be good at now it looks like drill handling we've only got we've only got two workers who are actually decent at drill handling and both of them are only on the one star level which is a bit of a disappointment to be honest uh, but that's fine. Cooking, we need somebody to cook. Jack Halbert, we need you to cook as well so I guess we'll pick up Thomas, Thomas Novak Sure. Jack Halpert. Excellent. You're also you're also good at engineering and security. All right. I suspect that given that we are in pirate waters, it will uh, it will be important to have a decent level of security. Also, this landmine that's just floating around, I don't think it can deal damage, although I have no idea. We'll we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, but so far, so far, so good, right? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna equip we're gonna equip 
Tomas Novak, who, as you can see, is an expert in drill handling. Well, I say an expert in drill handling. He's an expert relative to everyone else on this oil rig uh, at drill handling. And there you go. What do you know? We are we are drilling. That's excellent. That's really, really good. Small kitchen. Let's see if we can try and get uh, Jack. Excellent. Uh, we do still need somebody to work at the maintenance, uh, at the maintenance place, the workshop. Uh, but, you know, that's not a massive deal, and I don't think that anything's going to break down quite yet. Famous last words, I know, but what the heck was that? There was something around there. Oh, that's a big old fish. Lovely. Gorgeous. I will say the animals in the water are, uh, are very, very cool indeed. Either way, uh, we are now mining crude oil. Mining crude oil, extracting crude oil, drilling crude oil. Sure. Uh, we're actually acquiring it rather fast. So over the course of 24 hours, it's predicting that we're going to get plus 684 barrels. Now that would increase if we were to put somebody on the night shift at this moment in time. At this moment in time, we do not have anyone that's on the night shift. So, you know, we're not going to, we're not going to extract oil overnight. Is that a problem? No, I don't think that it is. Okay. So, orders, we can place some orders for uh, for food ingredients. To be honest, I don't think that we really need to place f food orders at this moment in time. We've got a whole bunch of meals uh, at this moment in time. And we've also got the food ingredients, which are being turned into meals by the uh, by the chef. Uh, this is the tech tree, which we're, which we're going to talk a little bit about. Uh, but basic rig production give 20% to drill efficiency. That would be really, really nice. We can just go, we can just go wherever the heck we want to. Uh, security buildings, that's definitely something that I'm interested in. Employee care. Look at this tech tree. I mean, it's expansive. It is expansive. It is huge. There's a whole bunch of extra buildings that we can actually unlock. For example, if we unlock oil basic production, I think that should say basic oil production, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, unlocks a small chemical plant and the lubricant container, uh, allowing lubricant production, which you can see is held uh, over here. So either way, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of different routes that we can that we can go down, and uh, I'm gonna have an absolute whale of a time. First of all, though, I'm looking for contracts. Yes. So there's a couple of quick contracts which we could which we could do, and this would uh, and this would just give us a give us a straight a straight little cash boost. Although none of this is for the the resources that we actually have on deck. We do extract a gas. We do extract crude. But to be honest, I think I'm more interested in I think I'm more interested in making a deal with a proper with a proper contract company. Now, how much how much uh, how much crude oil did I say that we exported per day? Six hundred and eighty four per day. So we can actually straight up just like promise to export five hundred a day, right? Like that's definitely possible. Now this max standing thing. This max standing thing is quite important because that does that does link to my reputation. But we can talk a little bit about that later. Uh, how much the how much gas do I extract per day? We extract about three hundred per day. So you know what? Let's let's see if we can crank that up to like two hundred. Because the thing that you've got to bear in mind is that I will want to keep some of the oil and gas here. Are you sure you want to sell five hundred units of crude oil for five days? Absolutely. I'm certain that I want to do that. Absolutely certain. Uh, I also want to do that as well. So we're going to sell 600 units over the course of however many days, three days. Uh, that's fine, right? Yeah, that should be totally fine. I'm not worried about that at all. Either way, that's going to guarantee at least a little bit of uh, at least a little bit of income, which is very, very, very important, uh, and hopefully should allow us to easily, 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 easily make some money on this on this deal. Okay, how's our how's our uh, point drill level doing need 10 points to the next level no problem whatsoever what else can we actually build here a uh, small gas generator which will produce 50 electric energy from gas again this is exactly why i said we want to make sure that we keep some of the resources uh, around here so that's something to consider uh, but nothing else really that we're that we're interested in taking advantage of at the moment i've already talked about how we how we go through the small chemical plant and whatnot how we go through the, the motions of acquiring that through the tech tree. We could build a, a basic refinery. We could do that. And that will allow us to produce gasoline, fuel, and heavy oil. It will take 50 power and a worker. Which is... I don't want to say a bad thing. But it is a little bit of a concern. Because that means that I'll have to pick up an extra worker. Which is an extra... Uh, which is an extra source of uh, of outgoing outgoing cash. But it also it also opens up the potential to sign a bunch of new contracts. So you know what? Let's let's see if we can go for this. Where do I want to build it? Go for it over there. Excellent. And what do you know? Your oil rig has uh, has reached uh, level two reputation, which is which is great. So reputation is really really important. 
because it, appro it improves our uh, available contracts, and I also believe that the price that we can get for our contracts, which is very, very important. Uh, now, is is the captain, is the captain, captain, captain Jack, whatever his name is, pirate Jack Torpedo, Torpedo Brain? What the flipping heck is that? Oh my lordy. Right, I don't think that that can endanger us, but it looks like a nasty beast. I tell you what. Maybe Jack Torpedo should be a little bit more concerned by, uh, by that thing than anything else. Either way, let's get another gas generator down. Brilliant. Thank you very much. We will indeed order supplies uh, in a little bit. The gas generator is going to turn 10 gas into 50 fuel every 20 seconds, which is pretty darn good, if indeed I do say so myself. Uh, will it allow us to continue to fulfill our mission? I think it will. Also, what the heck is going on here? I know we don't have anything. Lack of resources for production. Yeah, I mean, we don't have any crude at the moment because we're exporting all of our crude as part of this contract. Yeah, so we've actually exported 280, 280 fuel. Now, the boats, the boats that carry the oil away, I don't actually know when they technically arrive. Either way, that's not necessarily something that I should concern myself with. We still probably want to see if we can try and fulfill these contracts before moving on. But to be honest, now that we've got a stable source of income and we will be able to collect income from this contract over time, I wonder if it might just be worth me exactly getting the rig basic production implemented so that we can uh, so that we can add 20% to drill efficiency, which is really rather good. Okay, well I didn't mean to click on it, but you know, we ended up clicking on it anyway, so that's that's kind of great. Now, I am looking for Refinery production. Excellent. Somebody who's qualified in refinery production is pretty much pretty much what I'm after. And you are going to be stuck into the brand new basic refinery, which is excellent. We've got plenty of power. We've got plenty of employee capacity left. We should still be getting how much crude oil? We're actually losing. Wow. We're actually losing 414 per day. Right. Right. That's, uh, that's a little bit less than ideal. I wonder if it might be worth us... I wonder if it might be worth us seeing if we can get some additional work on the drill. What can we do? Change production mode? Oh, we can either have... We can either have gas focused or, or we can have uh, an even number of gas and crude oil produced or we can just prioritize crude oil. Well, I want to prioritize crude oil. That's what I'm after. Uh, what I was going to say is that I think that we should try and get somebody... Somebody to work the night shift. It's actually probably quite important. There we go. Hire a fourth person. Uh, and then equip him to the Charles Novak. Okay. Brother of uh, Thomas Novak. Excellent. We've got the brothers. The brothers working working on the drill. Either way, uh, we're going to now have 24-hour production of crude oil on this drill, which is good, which is very, very good, because we need that in order to fill our contract, in order to not torpedo our reputation. But at the same time, we're now producing gasoline, fuel oil, and heavy oil, all of which is rather nice. Uh, I don't know if I can actually sign another contract at this moment in time, but that's okay. Either way, this is all this is all looking good. I'm pretty happy with this. We'll see exactly how much oil we've got to give uh, at the at the uh, at the next at the next opportunity. The other thing that we should probably consider is that we maybe want to see if we can try and get ourselves some storage. As at the moment we can only store up to 500 oil, we get 70 oil a pop, so it's probably worth us getting some storage. So this is the last the build other buildings tab, which is which is what I'm interested in having a look at. Ingredients for meals, cooking ingredients. I mean, look, we're fine for ingredients at this moment in time. We don't really need to worry about it. I think, to be honest, we just want crude oil storage and maybe refined oil storage as well. I think we'll get them both. If we get them both, then that's going to allow me to at least hold on to my refined materials uh, a while longer so that we don't lose any production whilst we are waiting for these contracts to, uh, to expire. So that's very, very good indeed. Uh, financially, though, I think we should be we should be in the money. It says that we're going to be in the money. 1,583 per day from contracts, 1,800. Cool. So Captain Jack, Captain Jack, I, uh, I have no idea if he's going to be coming around any time. I, I don't know what the situation is uh, on that front. Let's speed up whilst we're during, uh, whilst, we're, we're, whilst we're in the middle of the night. It's totally fine. I don't even know if I'm going to get a warning about uh, about Captain Jack deciding to approach. 
There we go. Entertainment buildings. To make your employees happy, build the entertainment buildings such as a cinema or a gym. Yeah, I should mention that, by the way. I should mention is that each and every employee has got a... Uh, has got a whole bunch of different uh, like requirements so there's rest food and happiness food and rest easy to fulfill you know a bed and a kitchen but happiness we're gonna need to get uh, we're gonna need to get a little a little something else i think but you know what we can worry about that a little bit later i mean i've never really been that bothered about my employees anyway i mean come on this is this is me that we're talking about here right so how are we doing in terms of uh, in terms of crude oil uh not great in terms of gasoline unfortunately when is the when is the ship coming to to pick up the to pick up the gasoline we, we've got a lot of gasoline actually we got a lot of gasoline we should we should be able to we should be able to get rid of it all right now also holy cow look at all of uh, look at all of this we can actually buy some additional quick contracts if in fact we're interested uh, speaking of quick contracts can I just go back into the contract the contract menu can I make a deal with any of these people I mean that's not a bad contract to get because we're maxed out at we're maxed out of our gas at this moment in time. So you know what? I'm going to sell a whole bunch of gas units. I have absolutely no idea when India Trans are going to come by and uh, and pick up the and pick up the gas. But you know what? Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me missing something key. Probably is. Either way, we're we're in a good place. We're in a good place. I think we're in a really really good place. Uh, let's see if we can try and get a cinema. We're very, 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 very good in terms of uh, in terms of finances, so that's great. Do I care about anything else here? Security? You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy a security tower because what the heck? I think that that's pretty darn important. So let's let's get that sorted. Employee care, simple bedroom, kitchen upgrade, entertainment. I mean, we know that we need to get we know that we need to get entertainment. So let's pursue that. Uh, cinema upgrade. We don't need that quite yet, but we will build ourselves a cinema which is pretty good. Hopefully, it doesn't use more than 20 power. Uh, what am I looking for? Social buildings. Excellent. Yeah, let's stick it next to the uh, to the gas storage. That seems entirely appropriate and safe. It took more than it took more than 20 power. Didn't it? Of course it did. Of course it flippin' did. Of course it flippin' did. Okay, I mean, is there any way that we can increase our, our power without completely decimating the gas economy? I mean, we can get ourselves... We can get ourselves another small gas generator. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Your oil rig has achieved level three. Gain two reputation. You can build an additional platform. Hurrah, 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 hurrah. And if I wanted to build an additional platform, I would do it through here, right? Yeah, platform nine by nine. Requires more resources. Uh, required platform level six. Build more buildings to increase level. Okay, we should just be able to build it, but I believe that we're going to need whatever... Whatever this stuff is. Asphalt. There we go. And more building blocks as well. We should maybe put in an order. We should maybe put in an order in order to uh, in order to order some stuff, eh? That that sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? What do I want? Do I want food ingredients? Sure. Give me some food ingredients. We'll buy as many as we possibly can. I say as many as we possibly can. Maybe we shouldn't buy as many as we possibly can. That seems like a little bit of a little bit of an irresponsible spending decision there. Repair your buildings. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But hey, India Trans. We did it. Um, we did lose a load of reputation there because we didn't deliver all of the oil. Um, again, I suspect that that is because I didn't have the appropriate amount of oil in storage when the ship came by. Right, let's just do that. That sounds fine. Okay, 50 seconds until that... Uh, until that arrives. As I say, I have absolutely zero conception of when this ship actually when the ship actually arrives. Um yeah, I've I've no idea. No idea. I know that I have three three days left, but that's all I know. Okay, let's make another deal to sell to sell gas because to be honest, we we are producing a heck of a lot of gas here. Uh, also, which building was slowly degrading? Which was the one that I needed to take care of? Either way, we should probably see if we can pick ourselves up an engineering employee. That would maybe not be the craziest thing in the world. 83 salary. Don't think I'm quite ready to employ somebody on 83 salary. Let me see if I can maybe reassign Thomas. In fact, oh, that's brilliant. Okay, Thomas, you're going to come off. No, 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 no. Do not, don't be dismissed. Don't be dismissed. Just remove from your current employment. There we go. And then let's re-equip you onto here. And then let's see if we can pick up a slightly more skilled driller. 
I thought that that was Captain Jack Torpedo for a second there. Entertainment. You're a good entertainer. We don't need anyone that's good at entertaining. We literally just need Daniel. Daniel Small, congratulations. You are going to be appointed to the drill. Right, simple as that. 38 food ingredients unloaded from the ship. Excellent. We've got plenty of meals, by the way, so I'm not worried about that even slightly, but that is... That is fine. Right, I'm looking to see if I can try and build... I'm looking to see if I can try and build a defense tower. Required more resources. What do I require? I require lubricants. Okay, well that's good because we've got a um we got a we got a way to get lubricants. If we if we start Yeah, if we start using the small chemical plant in order to in order to uh in order to acquire lubricants. Excellent. Alright, small chemical plant, it turns fuel, which we are actually making, fuel oil, excellent, into lubricants. Brilliant. Again, I'm not super over the moon about the fact that I'm going to have to pick up an extra employee. I don't like picking up extra employees. It's it's expensive. I tell you what, though. This this plant is looking great. This whole rig is looking great. It's looking really, really good. Okay, we're neck and neck in terms of power, which is totally fine. Let's see if we can pick up somebody else who is skilled at uh, refinery production, I think is what we're after. 73 bucks is, is a lot of money to splurge. So you know what? Jeremiah Baker... Go for it. Welcome on board, Jeremiah. Oh, turns out, turns out that that's not even refinery production. That's actually chemical production. So I don't think that there was anyone. I, yeah, I actually don't think that there was any, anyone more skilled. Uh, Peter Lewis was a little bit cheaper, but nobody was more skilled. Either way, during during the course of the evening, we don't actually do anything on the platform. That's all fine. Okay, I'm a little bit perturbed. I'm a little bit perturbed that I'm continuing to fail. I'm continuing to fail contracts mostly because I just don't have I don't have the the goods in stock at the end of the day. So look, I think it's I think it's at the end, end of the day. Let's see. So we got 500 crude oil. We've definitely got 500 crude oil in the storage. In fact, we're maxed out in terms of crude oil storage and gas storage. Yeah, okay. So it happens at the end of the day. So it's whatever resources we have in our storage at the end of the day. That's good to know. That's good to know and it's going to help us it's going to help us make uh, it's going to help us make better decisions going forward. How many products do I want to send? This is going to be daily, so I don't really want to do this per day. You know what? Let's see if we can just try and shoot for 200 again. As long as we've got 200 gasoline in the uh, in the tank, that should be totally fine. Okay, we'll give that a shot. We'll give that a totally uh, a, a shot. All right, what do we got? Watch out for Jack Torpedo. The nearby waters are plagued by a terrible pirate. The management will unlock turret building technology if it sees pirate attack too often. I mean, okay, I appreciate that. I I appreciate that video game. Um, the management. The management. Who is this management, people? Either way, we're now producing lubricants from our fuel oil, which is kind of great. Very, very happy about that. What do we got? Uh, speaking of what have we got, we should see if we can try and do this gas contract again. Again, I think we should try and do this absolutely every single day. We need to start unlocking more people to deal with. Because at this rate, at this rate, we're not going to be able to export any of our, uh, any of our uh, advanced products. So like gasoline, fuel oil, uh, fuel oil heavy oil, etc. I know we are using a couple, a couple of those products in the chemical plant, but nothing... Nothing is super major at this moment in time. We're not using a heck of a lot of the stuff. Right, let's see if we could try and buy... Yeah, Norway oil. Let's see if we can try and expand to them. Excellent. And more Norway oil. They also deal with fuel oil. Fuel oil. Uh, fuel oil. Okay, I mean, look, we're going to need to... We're going to need to do all of this. We're going to need to do all of this later. So before the evening... Before the evening comes... I suspect it'll be tomorrow that we will be able to get access to the contract, but that's fine. What is this? Gasoline? I mean, are we almost maxed out our gasoline capacity? We're not really. I'll make a deal. I'll make a deal with Atlantic Oil. Yeah, and these are refreshed every day, so we've got an opportunity to, to keep that refreshed. I'm not happy, by the way, about the fact that we're maxing out our gas and crude oil production and storage. It's very suboptimal. Very suboptimal, and it makes me uh, a little bit unhappy. Fuel oil as well. We're, we're very, very close to the max there. Heavy oil, we got plenty more capacity there. Gasoline, we just sold a bunch of gasoline, so that's fine. Excellent. Do we want to see if we can try and get a brand new platform? I, I really do. I really do want a brand new platform, but that's... 
That's okay. What am I making now? I'm making lubricants. I'm not making asphalt. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to build a big platform, but I can at least build a small platform. But I require more building blocks in order to do that. So let's let's do that, shall we? Uh, yeah. We just need a cheap. We just need a cheap ship. When you have a little financial resources, okay. Completed the contract. We didn't quite max it out, but you know what? A little bit of a reputation boost is nice. When you have little financial resources, make a contract and earn money. Don't worry about it, video game. I'm I'm on it. I'm very, very much on it at this moment in time. 100% on it. Okay. I need a whole bunch of building blocks. I don't need food ingredients. I don't need, I don't need anything, to be honest. Uh, although I will buy a couple of food ingredients just to keep me in a good place. Okay. That costs rather a large amount of money, but it's totally fine. Anyway, yes. I remember why I was building lubricants, because lubricants allow us to build a defense tower. Yeah. Okay, we're back to max. We're back to max gas again. We're back to max fuel oil. Um. Crude. How much? How much crude do we want to? Do we want to export per day? Uh, to be honest, I, I want to export the maximum amount per day. Yeah, it's only going to be four days, but that's fine. Gasoline. Let's make the quick deal with gasoline. Uh-oh, uh-oh, flippin' egg. Okay, let me just quickly make a quick deal with, with Norway oil. Okay, so turns out this is just a quick deal. It's not a not a big long-term deal. What the heck is happening? Uh, was that my supply boat? What the heck? What the heck happened? Oh my giddy ant. It's a lightning strike. Well, hopefully we're going to be able to continue to produce oil. Um, I don't know if my supply boat is going to is going to end up getting destroyed in these treacherous waters. This is looking dicey. Hang in there. Hang in there, chaps. I'm sure we'll be fine. Oh boy. All right. I think I think we're fine. I think we're fine. When's the supply boat arriving? 35 seconds, but I think it might have been delayed. I think it might have been delayed. You cannot order during a storm. Yeah. That's not on me. That's not on me, video game. That's not on me. Okay. We'll check out the research tree in just a second. I want to see if there's any more contracts that we can we can faff around with. There's not. Flip an egg. Okay. I think the storm is abated. Excellent. It has, which means that we're gonna get we're gonna get our resources coming in from the side very, very soon indeed, which is great. Right. So Quick contract. Yeah, my bad. I didn't want to do the quick contract. I want a full-blown contract with uh, with Norway Oil because I need to get this fuel oil off my off my back. Okay, same with gasoline, to be honest. Do I care about the gasoline right now? Not really right now. Let's see if we can just try and sort out fuel oil first. How much fuel oil do we actually make? 193 per day. I mean, 150 maybe is a good is a good target to shoot for. I say that, though. We should shoot for we should shoot for just about 200 as we've already got like a whole bunch in storage not to mention the fact that this is going to give me a whole bunch of a whole bunch of money a whole bunch of reputation and I'm really keen for money and reputation and actually everything I'm keen for the whole the whole shebang All right brilliant 33 ingredients and 142 building blocks so that is that is great good to see okay jack torpedo is here Right, where is he? Where is he? Is he nearby? You thought you wouldn't notice an oil rig uh, constructed on my waters, didn't you? Sneaky bastards, but you can't fool me. Now you'll pay tribute like everyone else in the waters or face consequences. Okay, first of all, we're going to reduce... Deny the request. I'm ready for a fight. I'm absolutely not ready for a fight. I'm absolutely not ready for a fight. Required more resources. Oh, flippin' heck. Oh, this is not good. Okay, so uh, it's 100 lubricants that we require. Okay, is he firing mortars at me? He's firing something at me. Okay, can I... Can I order... Can I, I can't order. I can't order lubricants in. I can't order lubricants in. We need... We need a couple more lubricants. Oh, flippin' egg. This is... This is not gonna... This is not gonna end well. You know, we should've... We should've gone for a... We should've gone for a tribute. At least on the first occasion. What's he damaging? I can't see. The HP on everything seems to be holding steady, to be honest. That workshop, I'm assuming, is just going to work overtime, which is great. Is there any way that I can boost lubricant production? Perhaps I can do it through the 
through the uh, through the menu here. Is it oil basic production? Heavy oil refining. I don't want heavy oil refining. I would very, very much like... Uh, unlocks drill, drill 2 building for the main floor. Oil storage place. Oh, well, that's, that's not exactly great. Don't don't care about the oil storage place. Maintenance. Advanced transport ship. Okay, there's there's clearly a whole bunch of stuff which isn't actually available in the uh, in the current build, which is a bit of a problem. I mean, this is not going to make any difference. I don't think there's nothing that can really speed up my lubricant production, unless, 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 unless I do a sneaky maneuver right now, video game. Okay, what is it? What is it? What is it? It's a small chemical plant that I need. It's going to cost me 50 building blocks, but I think... I think that I can survive that. Small gas generator. Throw that in the middle there. Okay, so far so good. Let's see if we can pick up our last employee. It is chemical refining that I need, right? Chemical production. Joshua Miller. Welcome on board. Right? So far, we're fine. We're managing. Alright. We've not lost anything yet. I don't know I don't know what's happening, but we're we're fine. We're fine for now. So that's just gonna speed up. Okay, the basic refinery has taken a little bit of a pounding. It's technical condition weak. Build workshop to improve. There there is a workshop right here. The workshop is being fixed up. I see. I see, I see, I see. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. The workshop seems to be targeted a lot. Okay, 96 lubricants. We are flipping close. We can almost build a defense tower. We got it. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, defense tower. Is there a space? A space in the middle there. Okay. Defense tower. Let's flip and go. Okay, do we need to... Press off to activate. Ah, here we go. On. Oh, that's right. That's right, Buster. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing on me. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I hit you. Yes, of course I hit you. Sink. Sink the ship. Sink the ship. Oh, Tomas Novak is no longer with us. Okay, hold up. We need to... I'm a little bit peeved that I have to be the one to do the to do the shooting here. Okay, we're gonna have to have a status report in just a second. Good hit there. Good hit there, actually. See, you're no match for me. Next time you pay when I tell you. No, no, no. What are you talking? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I, I definitely had that. I definitely had that. Okay. Well, it looks like, it looks like he disappeared. Um, Tomas Novak is no longer with us. So is that all we lost? Is, is that literally all we lost? We lost Tomas Novak. All right, turn that shooting off. We lost Tomas Novak. Um, and I think that that's it. And then we need to build a workshop. We need to rebuild the workshop for sure. But to be honest, that could have gone... Could have gone better, but it also could have gone a heck of a lot worse. Nobody's free at this moment in time because... Don't have anyone else. I need to get better staff. I definitely need to get better staff. That is something that I should focus on. Uh, yeah, you're the only person that has engineering. Which is what we need, to be honest. Henry Lewis, congratulations. Welcome to the team. Okay, look. I mean, throughout that, right? Throughout that, thankfully, we were able to maintain... We were able to maintain uh, pretty close to full production. Uh, I don't think that we're actually going to fail any contracts. Might be an idea to see if we can try and make some deals just before the day is done. There we go. That's looking good. And let's also make a deal for gasoline. Sure. All right. That's that's not looking too bad. Uh, whoopsie. I forgot that India Trans now wants gasoline as opposed to gas. It's a bit of a pain in the backside, but no matter. Either way, as soon as we get as soon as we get back to daytime, we should be totally fine. Henry Lewis was hired. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we might f we might reduce our efficiency on a couple of contracts there, but at the end of the day, I think that we might uh, we might just manage. We might just manage. Either way, that defense tower, little bit irritating. Little bit irritating. I don't really want to be the person to to shoot 
to shoot the defense tower to be honest that's that's not really that's not really how i envision my job uh working but there we go anyway uh basic refinery is in a technical condition of weak it's going to be repaired very very shortly but thankfully it wasn't actually reduced to rubble by uh by captain jack here right so we need to get we need to get that next we need to get that next platform up and running if at all possible we just need we just need more stuff we just need more stuff so let's just let's just keep building shall we i mean a bridge there's no point in building a bridge if we don't have a platform to go to uh let's see if we can try and get some better level employees skilled employees let's do it more employees let's do it i mean i've got loads of money look at the amount of cash that i've got at this moment in time okay the number of employees that we can get is insane more skilled employees sure do it employee care simple bedrooms uh unlocks upgrade for building sure let's do it maintenance there's nothing else in the maintenance tree that we can actually unlock advanced oil extraction uh you know what let's go for that let's go for that and i think that that is exactly where we're gonna leave it so i do believe that we should be able to upgrade our drill if we have 200 building blocks which we absolutely do not and 100 lubricants which we also absolutely do not have right so let's place an order let's place an order for uh how many building blocks 117 117 thank you very much i would very much like that we're fine for meals at this moment in time it does take us down to uh to a little bit of a poor financial situation a little bit of a poor financial place but that's fine gas let's get rid of gas yep fuel oil we should be fine for fuel oil so i'll take this deal with norway oil and then gasoline gasoline we've got plenty of gasoline in stores so yeah i mean look all of these contracts are actually are actually working out that's that's pretty decent pretty darn decent if i do indeed say so myself what's the issue here building needs more space in the main storage is it possible for us to build a lubricant container it's actually just the ticket excellent and we've reached level four which is brilliant and we gain we gain two reputation which is really really nice okay let's get forward let's get forward to the next day let's unload all of our building blocks uh which of course irritatingly i just used up some of those building blocks right we can't actually order a brand new ship but i don't think i want to order a brand new ship because this this ship is uh is, is going to cost us 300 which i'm not keen uh to see okay contract completed excellent that's really really good happy with that let's just reorder deny his request obviously the management unlocks the turret to help with the platform i i, I already did that i already did that i i already was already on top of that situation there okay confirm confirm that okay now give me the turret again okay go one time speed one time speed please video game right which one's captain jack i don't actually know either way we should be fine if i can hit something i did i did indeed hit you this looks like a flagship it feels like a flagship i also hate this mechanic i i i'm not keen i'm not keen on shooting can i just destroy one of these boats please jack is defeated bounty for defeating jack you gain six thousand money and five reputation okay you know what i said about it being a flagship turns out that i was right the whole darn time all right you know let's desecrate the corpse go for it that's right that's right sink you scurvy sea dog or something either way my reputation has never been has never been flying higher it's it's real high okay how are we doing now produce and sell 2000 asphalt don't worry i mean we're gonna do that i mean we've got so much we've got so much stuff now we really do we got so much money we got so much capability right i want to see if i can try and build a platform here all requirements met where do i want to build a platform i mean i want to build a platform like somewhere out here but i shouldn't build it during the night that's that's daft okay whilst it's night let's see if we can look at the the menu accelerated oil production yep let's go for that advanced oil extraction let's go for that as well heavy oil refining yep let's go for that too advanced oil refining let's go for that as well and that's 
pretty much everything there. Let's get that. Increase our power a little bit. Clean water production. Eh, do I care about clean water production? Not really, but I'll get it anyway. Advanced energy production. I do care about that, actually. Also, before the day ends, let's see if there's any contracts that we want to... That we want to take advantage of. Fuel oil, we should make a deal. We should make a deal for this. What's my fuel oil production per day? 134 per day. Alright, let's make it like 200 then. Because we've got like... We've got a certain amount in storage at this moment in time, which is which is good. And we should be able to capitalize on the fact that we've got a little bit in storage. And we're going to be adding... We're going to be adding production as we go. Excellent! Petro France Company. Of course, the well-renowned Petro France Company and the India Trans Company, both of which we've successfully fulfilled and gained ourselves a whole bunch of additional reputation, which is very, very nice. Okay. How much crude oil have we got coming out of the grant? That much. Great. Gasoline. How much gasoline have we got? About 200 a day. 200 gasoline a day. Excellent. Let's do it. Let's do it. On both those counts, that's great. Uh, yep. Gas, which is, of course, different from gasoline. Right, happy with that. Right, are we able to get this uh, this repaired? Excellent, we are. Okay. I need more space. I obviously need more space. It's a flipping storm. I don't even know if I'm able to build stuff during a storm. Probably, probably not able to. Uh, actually, tell a complete lie. All right, let's do it. Let's get a brand new platform. The platform is not super, not super essential, I would say. There we go. Let's give ourselves a little bridge over here. Do I need water? I don't need water because we actually get clean water from the from the drill, don't we? Yeah, we get clean water from the drill, so that's that's kind of okay. We've got loads and loads of heavy oil, which we need to get rid of, and we've got no method to get rid of it at the moment. So can I can I perhaps get a heavy oil contract with somebody over here? What do we got? Contract with with you. Okay, that's what I'm interested in. Two thousand. Japan trade solid fuel. Do we have solid fuel? We don't have solid fuel at this moment in time. Uh, you know what? Let's go for... Let's go for a heavy oil contract, because I really would like to get rid of this heavy oil. Uh, if it's at all possible to sign a contract before the end of the day, it is. That's excellent. How much heavy oil do I have? 450, and I get per day 59. So you know what? I think we can probably afford to go for... Well, two days... I mean, like 500, so like 250. Right, 250 heavy oil per day is quite a lot. There we go. But you know what? We've already got a whole bunch in storage, and we should be totally fine. I should have just checked. Is there anything that we want to take advantage of? No. No deals that we want to take advantage of. The one with Norway oil, we're, we're selling to Norway oil, uh, oil already through a reoccurring contract, so that's fine. Cool. Platform level 5 is looking real good. We need to achieve platform level 6 and a whole bunch of asphalt as well. Now, do I have any other buildings which can help me meet this goal? I don't think so, you know? I don't I don't think so. We've got asphalt storage, which is nice, which is which is very very nice indeed, but what I think that we need is we need the yeah, we need the heavy oil refining plant, which is great. Which is great because we can actually now build it. Holy cow, this thing is massive. It's a good thing that I it's a good thing that I built the platform over here, eh? Victory! Jack Torpedo. Jack Torpedo has been destroyed, and we've just achieved platform level 6 by building this absolute monster of a structure. Holy cow, how cool does that look? Uh, it's out of power, because of course it is. But that's okay. I'm actually going to use this as an opportunity to pick up advanced energy generation, which is quite nice, uh, because I think that that's going to allow me to build a slightly better gas turbine. Or perhaps not? Am I allowed to build wind storage? Advanced energy generation... Ah, it unlocks an upgrade for the building. So we've got a couple of, uh, of gas energy generators. Upgrade the building. All requirements met. Let's do it. Let's do it. Excellent. Brilliant. Okay. We're going to need to hire... We're going to need to hire another, another schmuck here. I mean, we're going to need to hire somebody brand new. Uh, but in order to upgrade the crew quarters, which I believe we unlocked the upgrade for a while ago, it's probably, it's probably, well, I need to, I need to acquire some more building blocks. So you know what, let's do that. Right, how many more building blocks do I need? We should probably just order as many as we possibly can, given the financial circumstances. 
Yeah, we can order 99. We can literally order 99. Go for it. I always need, I always need building blocks. The one of the only things that I don't think that you can produce on the platform at this moment in time. We also need to pick up, we also need to pick up a person. See if we can try and get a brand new employee. Uh, we got loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of lubricants, which is really nice. Very, very happy with that, but no biggie. No biggie at this moment in time. Let's wait for that boat to arrive, and then we'll see what we can do. We got a couple of contracts that are going to be completing very, very soon indeed, which is going to leave us in a brilliant financial situation. I would wager, by the way, that if I built the platform over here, then it would just get destroyed, because, of course, there's a mine right there, and that's kind of terrifying, right? Okay, basic employee quarters. We need we need the cash and then we're there. Let's throw it into four times speed. Let's throw it into overdrive, Captain. Or something. Rig commander. Is that what my role is? Rig manager? Operations manager? Technical director? Director of management? Brilliant. We completed another contract. Let's throw in an upgrade. Let's get the... Let's get the, uh, the headquarters... Employee quarters upgraded. That increased our, our employee max by one? Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. Okay, well, that's that's fine. Is this a chemical refining job? This is a... Uh, a water droplet job. Whatever the heck that means. That's the... Is no one... Is no one able to do water droplets here? Are you kidding me? Are you for real? That's ridiculous. Okay, well, we're gonna have to hire somebody else to do another job. What are you doing at the moment? Small chemical... You're currently in the workshop. You know what? You can be... No, 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 no. You can be reassigned from the workshop. No, no, no. I don't want to dismiss you. Reassigned from the workshop. Yep. Get out of there and get into here. Excellent, because you're qualified. And then we can easily pick up somebody with some lame engineering qualification to, to do the rest. There we go. Uh, yeah. You. Daniel Small. Okay. We've got two Daniel Smalls. That's small world, eh? Small world. Very, very small world. Okay. Now we should be turning heavy oil into asphalt, which is very, very exciting indeed. Uh, what are we going to do with these lubricants? I'm very, very glad you asked. It's about time that we get ourselves a lubricant contract. We've also got a gasoline contract now, which is kind of great. Ethylene? Do I care about ethylene? Do I have ethylene production? I don't think that I do. However, I do have lubricant production, and I know for a fact that we produce rather a large amount of lubricants, 84 per day. So we should probably try and do, like, what? 150, 150 per day? 150, 150 lubricants, 170 lubricants. I mean, that's like an ambitious, that's an ambitious goal. And to, in fact, to be honest, it could probably be like 200 a day. Let's crank it up, because you've got to bear in mind, you know, that we've got this 89 per day production. 84 per day production, which is good, and actually can be, uh, can be increased if we were to get somebody to work on the night shift. But we don't have that at this moment in time, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna worry about that too, too much. The heavy oil contract has expired. Let's take the gas deal because we're totally fine in terms of, uh, in terms of the gas deal. So that's great. Okay, let's make the 200 units of asphalt, produce and sell 200 units of asphalt. That's that's what we need to do. In order to in order to beat this contract where is the asphalt contract it's up here let's i can't buy it because i don't have the money but that's okay we're getting 4,900 per day what about we max out the the tech tree unlocks chemical plant upgrade solid fuel container you know what let's go for that what does it take to upgrade the chemical plant it takes takes 1200 bucks and also 60 60 free power we don't have the money, and we don't have the bucks at this moment in time. But that's okay. That's completely fine. Uh, did I not reassign somebody to the... Oh, no, I did reassign somebody to the... Uh, to the workshop. It's just that it's only a day shift. It's only a day shift at this moment in time, which is totally, totally fine. Also, are we able to get an upgrade to our drill? Yeah, we are still... We are still searching for an upgrade to our drill, but to be honest... Doesn't really seem like a majorly top priority at this moment in time. But, whatever. Uh, right. So, we're making asphalt. How much are we making? 41 per day. I mean, that's not that's not half bad. Could maybe get somebody on the night shift. If I wanted to grab myself another simple crew quarter area. But I don't necessarily think that that's a problem. Advanced gas production. 
Um, enabling ethylene production. I mean, look, don't get me wrong. Ethylene production would be kind of nice. We could presumably change the mode in the small chemical plant. Uh, it might be, it might be good to do. A gym, a cinema upgrade. Which increases the effectiveness. I don't really think that the gym is overly required, to be honest. Increased gas output. Uh, more employees? Yeah, sure. Skilled employees? Uh -huh. Sure, we'll go for it. Don't really think that it's going to make much of a difference. As I've already said, let's see if we can build a social building. We require more We require more cash in order to do that. Yeah, I mean, look, at this point, we're literally just waiting to see if we can try and produce enough of this, uh, of this asphalt stuff. If I'm able to get a couple of extra employees to help with uh, production, then that would be great. We can maybe crank, crank into night shift mode. But to be honest, we're making so much money per day that, uh, that I feel like we're in a really, really good place. Certainly feels that way to me, anyway. Okay. Excellent. We completed a contract. Brilliant. Loads and loads of money. Loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of money. Let's see if we can re-sign a couple of contracts. For example, the Norway oil fuel one is pretty good. Uh, yeah, lubricants. 84 per day. Let's literally just sign it for 84 a day, right? Sure, what the heck. Gasoline. Sure. Heavy oil. We're actually using our heavy oil at this moment in time, so don't really want to don't really want to faff around with that too too much. Yeah, cool. Fine. All right, that's up to 50 asphalt produced. Excellent. I tell you what though, our employees are pretty bad. We also need more heavy oil. Am I, uh, how are we doing at the basic refinery? Yeah, I think it might be worth us seeing if we can try and get an employee to, to, to stick around during the night shift. Because the reason that I say that is that we are, we really just need more of this heavy oil stuff. And heavy oil is produced at the basic refinery. Unless we want to perhaps pick up another basic refinery, which would actually be a pretty good idea. But we need more resources. What do we need? 80 building blocks and 50 power. Can we get an upgrade to our basic refinery? Required more resources. What do we need? 2,000, 2,000 bucks, 90 power, uh, and 100 lubricants. We actually require 100 lubricants, which is quite a lot. What's going off? What's, what's going on? We got a large number. Got a large number of extra employees that we can, that we can hire. Building cinema. What? Requires at least one cinema. We do have, actually, more than one cinema. Chemical production? I mean, sure. I'm going to hire you because you're really, really good. I'm going to hire you as well because you're really, really good. Right, so. Let's hire... This chap right here to be in there. Yeah, night shift on the drill. So we're going to make an obscene amount. An obscene amount of crude oil. Which is quite nice. Chemical production, you are free, although... You do do refinery production, but I'd rather have you doing chemical production, I think. Yeah, so let's swap you into there. Excellent. Yeah. You're not particularly good, Joshua Miller. To be honest. Okay, we need to pick up... We need to pick up somebody new. Excellent. A couple of contracts have been completed. That's brilliant. Oh. You are excellent, actually. You're really, really good. Okay, basic refinery. That's exactly the sort of person that we want to put in here. Somebody that is really, really, really good. And can really help make a difference. Okay, we're low on we're low on meals, but that's okay. I mean, one of the first things that we did was, uh, was grab a chef. So, I think we'll be fine. I mean, look. The number of meals that we have is plenty. Let's see if we can try and just make a couple of deals. Do we need to re-sign any contracts? To be honest, we probably should re-sign contracts, shouldn't we? 160 a day. Sure. Let's sell a bunch of crude oil. Gasoline. Can we max this out? I feel like maybe maxing this out is not the craziest idea in the world. Max that out. Uh, fuel, 500 per day is what we're getting at this moment in time. So you know what we're going to do? 
that there. Excellent. Look at the speed. Look at the speed that this basic refinery is basically refining at. That's right. 100 lubricants. We're still after lubricants. And our lubricants are just being sold too quickly, really, unfortunately. But that is uh, that is fine. Maybe we can hire one more person to do to do chemical refining on the night shift, perhaps, or maybe even two people, two people to work on the night shift of chemical refining. Right, you, and are we are we maxed out? We're maxed out here. Hit the upgrades, and then grab one more employee here. Cool. Okay, so that's going to be two night shift, two night shift chemical people. We actually have a couple of people free, I think, even after we do this. Uh, so, I tell you what, you can go in there, and then I'm going to hire somebody to work in the night shift who has an engineering talent, like Angel Carter. Excellent. What the heck? What do you need? You need... Uh... No, that's a small kitchen. Oh, the small kitchen does actually need ingredients. Yeah, okay. I thought it was the workshop that was having uh, that was having issues there. Excellent. Okay, we've, we've somehow managed to get to a situation where we got $21,000. $21, um, I have absolutely zero idea of why that's occurred. We need to get a workshop over here. You are going to be horrific, actually. Okay, you know what? You're fired. You're fired. Get out of here. Get out of here. Who's our... Charles, you've been with us since the start, but, you know, unfortunately now, there is somebody better. Engineering, welcome on board. Welcome on board. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so let's get that repaired. We do need to increase our number of meals, but that's fine. Uh, asphalt, can we get rid of this asphalt somehow? I think we can. Uh, we got a deal, don't we? Do we not have the deal? We don't have the deal yet. That's okay. Let me buy out all of these deals. There we go. Excellent. Let me see if I can just buy out the rest of the tech tree just for the sake of doing it. Advanced gas production. Increase gas output. Don't know why I'd want to do that or care about gas. It's frankly almost irrelevant. Gym upgrade. Excellent. I think that's it. I think that's straight up it. And that leaves us with like a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of cash. Either way, that's looking pretty darn good. Okay, I'm going to sell 100, 100 units of asphalt per day. You know why? Because I realize that all I need to do is produce and sell a hundred. I don't need to. I don't need to stick around for the repercussions of failing this contract. I mean, my asphalt production is nowhere near a hundred per day, but that's okay. All we all we have to do is make the deal short term, and then long term, we're gonna be we're gonna be out of here, and we're gonna be you know we're gonna be winning. That's right. Already thinking like an oil executive, thinking. Thinking short-term profits, not thinking about the long-term repercussions of my actions. That's right. That's what it's all about. That's what it takes to be an oil tycoon in the twenty uh, in the twenty-first century, here, folks. Oh, whoops! Turns out that not thinking about the long-term repercussions has uh, has come back to bite me in the bahuki. Produce and sell two hundred asphalt. That's not actually possible at this moment in time. My bad. Uh, I need to. I need to do more than that. I need to. I need to. I, what? Okay. All right. This is a. This is a bit of a problem. All right. We got to rush. We got to rush to cover up the fact that I uh, completely neglected to realize that we are in fact needing to sell 200. I thought we only needed to sell 100, but that's fine. Okay. Pick up a brand new employee. What is this? It's a refining skill. That's fine. Uh, I mean, I'm looking for. Can I search by? This is advanced production. You're kidding me. We've got Max Williams, who is the, okay. Max Williams, I hate to do it, but you are the most qualified person here. And that really sucks. That really sucks. That really, really, really sucks. Okay, well, now that we've got a night shift, we've got a day shift as well. We should be able to get... We should be able to get another 100 asphalt by the end of today. And if we're not, then... Uh, well, that'll put us in a little bit of a poor situation, but that's okay. Look, we're still going to do it. We're still going to do it. I'm, I'm convinced that everything will be just fine. Heavy oil, sure. Sell a bunch of heavy oil. Sell a bunch of gas, too. Excellent. 
I, I mean, look, my reputation has frankly never been higher. It's, it's in a really, really great place. There's a storm, which is going to be the last storm that we ever, that we ever see. We are out of meals. Oh, that's a problem. That's a real problem. Turns out, turns out my, uh, my crew may just be going hungry for a day. Right. Let me see if I can order a boat. I can't order during the storm, but that's fine. Okay, order a couple of meals. I can order up to 25 meals, which is what I'm going to do here. Yeah, this is my bad by running out of food ingredients. 100% my bad. Okay. Storm, please finish. Please finish so that I can... Excellent. Okay, so it's going to come in like 30 seconds. And it's going to come with a full... A full thing of meals. We should be totally fine. Excellent. Okay. Grab your meals. Get to the kitchen. Brilliant. Ooh, hey! We did it. Produce and sell 200 asphalt. Okay, so just like that... Just like that, we have managed to do it. We've managed to do exactly... Oh, you can go in 0 0.5 times speed. Nice. Um, yeah, we've managed to do it. We didn't really have any major problems. Um, Captain Jack Torpedo was a little bit of an inconvenience, to be honest. Uh, but after we figured out how to do the whole shooting mode thing... Can I shoot the mines? I don't think I can shoot the mines. I've tried to do that. Can I shoot the fish? That's really mean to consider, but... I don't think the fish are shootable. Just as well, eh? That was a direct hit, and that, that definitely doesn't look shootable. Similarly, these mines are, uh, are not shootable either, I don't think. That was pretty close to a direct hit. Yeah, I mean, look, I think that's, uh, I think that's it, actually. I think that that is, uh, I think that that is it. So, this is the first mission. Um, if I exit the shooting mode, and then see if I can try and come out of this main menu thing. Uh, you can see, we're back to the main menu. There is no other missions available at this moment in time, however. However, sandbox mode. I mean, the sandbox mode is probably what interests me the most. Not the sandbox element, but the fact that you get to sort of freely build up. Uh, uh, an oil empire. That sounds pretty darn cool. Either way, uh, this is Drill Deal. We've played through the mission, the first mission, and we're definitely going to be playing more of it when it comes out in uh, in early access. We three-starred that mission, Jack Torpedo, so pretty happy with how that went. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, folks, I would encourage you, leave a like, check out the Discord, check out the Patreon, if indeed you're interested in uh, in helping out, help make videos like this possible. Also, thanks to Banana Nanana and C Senpai for being the two twenty-five dollars plus deal patrons. Ladies and gents, Thanks very much for watching. I've been Obo the Potato. I'll see you next time. Bye.